The fact that that microphone actually works, I can't get over it. <laughs> John Cena, classic. I love her creativity and energy, unmatched. <laughs> I cut my own hair with scissors, fun. Hello, everyone. Joanna Cedia. Hello, everyone. I love Joanna. Oh, I was watching her this morning. I'm going to be cutting my hair today. Why? Who is this? Is this a bad idea? Yes. I don't know who this is. Maybe. First of all, she's so stunning. Against, so against my better judgment, I am not going to use like professional hair cutting scissors. I'm no, why would you? Ones. I'm just going to use these ones that I found in the craft bin. All right, sis. This We've been not. there. Every person I meet, I tell them the exact same thing. If the apocalypse ever hits, I'm going bald. <laughs> I don't know why. Just picture this. You're Those memes are great. Survive. This is like no her food, no old content. Zombies. Future me, if you're editing and you've already got your short hair, please tell me how this goes. This is stressing me out. Oh, what's she gonna say? Oh no, oh no. Now's the moment of truth. Oh my God, she's gonna ruin her hair. I feel so bad. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I like her, she's hilarious. Oh my god, it's going! <laughs> okay. Wait, no, I'm not supposed- Ah! I'm supposed <laughs> to cut above the elastic, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter, it'll turn out just as bad either way. Okay, who wants this? Damn. I mean, I'm gonna be selling That's a lot them. of hair. Yikes! Who let her do that? <laughs> They're so uneven! It's not really that uneven. This might look absolutely terrible. It's not like, that bad. I don't know. It looks pretty good. And I saved like $40. I That's the thing about, about millennials. We don't hair. care we'll see what at she all. Thinks. You know what we should do? I think and I we're cheap. cheap. Let's see how that looks. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, that's cute. No, nope. okay. stop lying to yourself. Okay, so that's where that video ends. This is the content you're getting. You okay. clicked on this video. I mean, not my fault. Partly my fault. I love that. She seems like the exact kind of like stupid funny girl like I'd be friends with. She's like hashtag relatable, but not to like the point where it's like disgustingly cringy. Oh, Shrek. Yeah, of course. Oh, Shrek. This is amazing. Today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. She's painting. She's such one, a good artist. We will be following a tutorial from the one, the only. Bob Ross. Yes. Let's go. I want to start today. This is the most wholesome video out there on the internet. Just Joanna painting Bob Ross. Slight lavender. That actually looks pretty good. Not blue yet. Very blue. Oh, that, um... <laughs> just okay, so I'm done with It's actually not that bad. All you have to do is just rub it across a canvas. I've made a cloud. Why don't my clouds look as... Thick as Bob's. And Thick with two cues. I haven't seen it like that, baby, but okay. Let's have a big mountain that lives. Why does it look exactly the same? Down. I feel like she's not doing that bad. What the heck? For this next part, I will show you me mixing the paints as visual ASMR. I don't know if that's a thing, but it is now. The kazoo. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Got the kazoo in the back. So I finished the. Painting. Oh my god! Does it look like Bob Ross's. Yes, no, but it does. So I finished the painting. Does it look like? That's Bob not hers. Ross's? That no. is not but hers. It, does it look like Bob Ross's? That no. mini microphone but is so funny okay. to me. It looks okay. It okay, she's that type of girl that's like, I failed the test. It got I like a ninety-one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this video with a compilation of me beating the devil out of my paintbrush. <laughs> now that's why everyone watches Bob Ross. She's chaotic. I love it. <laughs> I love her creativity and energy. Unmatched. Unparalleled. She's like, this is what I like and that's what I'm going to post because it's what I want. And the fact that she's also still so committed like with schoolwork and making sure like that is her priority is so, so admirable. <laughs> That's a it's heavy breathing. Interesting. <laughs> this week, I'm gonna show you what one week in my life looks like. It's a she bit of does so much. Myself. It's currently 6:30, and we have to go swimming. So let's. Why? Go. I'll take you guys along with me, and hopefully, we have some fun. It feels like you're there with her. <laughs> so if you're, I love her editing. Oh, so if you're is she a swimmer you right now, you're in my I'm, I'm a swimmer. 
Oh, is she like a so legit swimmer? Where you are. Oh, she's on the swim team. Nice. We're in the change room, so most people are naked. But she just seems like so normal compared to like other like vloggers. It's time for lunch. I go home for lunch though because I hate human interaction. I so before you. you come at me, I mean same though. <laughs> John Cena, classic. It's because her name, Joanna Cedia, is so much like John Cena. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm munching on some watermelon. She's so healthy and fit. My mom is making cauliflower for dinner and the house smells like one big fart. This is the first <laughs> time I've been to the gym. Uh, in like two good old weeks. humor. Oh. Good morning, Jake Paulers. So uh, it's Tuesday. She also just like woken up and Tuesday doesn't hesitate to mock other YouTubers, which is so funny. Nap. Time to go to prison. To prison. <laughs> We're currently done with the aquatics. Overall, the meat was pretty good. We're gonna go home now. It's almost five o'clock. I love her mom. Her and her mom look so similar. At the Cedia compound. And Cedia. For That's how you say her last name. Did. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! <laughs> you I love it. The she's just, she's the just world like world dorky. World like world she world is world meme world heavy world. and I like it. Her room is surprisingly neat. I did not expect that. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's like really hitting me today. So I'm gonna keep this really short and sweet. So uh, yeah, I get so that. Get it's almost the end of the week, but like you're not like so completely so done. I hate that feeling. This is my locker. <laughs> Tour is over. <laughs> okay. So it's around 10 o'clock right now. The fact that that microphone actually works, I can't get over it. My calculations were correct. I am, in fact, getting sick. I don't oh, know. Oh, no. <coughs> Hi. I Girl, take some Robitussin. Got off the camera. So now we're going to go have breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Her parents morning. are adorable. Good afternoon. I have been editing for the past six hours, <gasps> and I just realized how how awkward I am. I knew that. <laughs> oh my god, how fun. She loves her Nerf guns. She loves them. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my entire week. To be frank, All right. it's probably one of the it's easiest simple. weeks I've had so far. Just like a normal little week. She has a very different vibe than like Emma Chamberlain or like the Dolan Twins or some other like teen vloggers out there. Everyone nowadays, I'm not gonna say copy because that's not the word I like, but take inspiration from Emma Chamberlain, you know? Like there's a lot of similarities, but that's not hating like it's, it's YouTube, I, nothing's original, but I bet she gets that a lot. And I bet that's annoying for her to get. She's very just like not a sit down, let me be a perfect YouTuber. She's just like, hey, I kind of like to be funny and like me more the end, edit heavy and just like screw around and I love it. I discovered her pretty early in her channel. Like she only had, I don't know, like a hundred something thousand subscribers. <laughs> but now she's like blowing up. Like, oh, it's crazy. I just watched her like explode and come into her own and I really appreciate it. So all these videos were from one of the fastest rising YouTube channels that only started in 2017, mm -hmm. Joanna Cedia. Yes, I love her. Like she really has made such success for herself considering like her channel's straight new. I just like stumbled upon her when there was this big wave of like teenage YouTubers, um, like the Emma Chamberlains of YouTube. You can tell at the beginning, they were like really similar. And then she just went in a completely different direction. So from what you saw today, what'd you think about her? She's hilarious. Just like the, the awkwardness and her not like changing after she even realized that she's awkward. It's just funny. I really like her. I will probably be smashing that subscribe button. I think she's funny, but I feel like it's kind of um, unoriginal in certain aspects, but I mean, I get why she's like getting the following that she does. If Twitter was a person, like that's the type of YouTuber she is, or she's just like, what's up? Here's a meme, I'm just doing whatever, no one cares. She's just so bizarre and unapologetically her, and I really like that, and that she's just not afraid to be different than everyone else. We have all these YouTubers who like go skydiving every day, who go to Paris every other day, who do this, who do this, you know? But like, and we also have YouTubers like her who just film her basic daily life, you know? And that's why there's an audience because a lot of people just live basic daily lives. So her rise was fast. In August of 2018, she only had around 100 subscribers, but by the following month, she broke to 100,000 subscribers, apparently doing so in just a few days. By October of 2018, she was already at a million. Pardon my French, but holy sh Wow. Shout out to her, like, wow. Congratulations, that's crazy. A lot of people 
are small YouTubers for years and try to pop off. Not only was her content appealing, but it just like was recommended to me. I did subscribe after YouTube recommended. So I guess the algorithm works, you guys. Like that was some spot on content for me. Good for her. I, there was obviously something like special about it to make people like want to watch, but that, like that kind of growth on YouTube, I feel like we don't see anymore. So many articles have mentioned that she made a video called I DIY'd Emma Chamberlain's new clothing line and she seemed to kind of spread from there. Okay, so, definitely, which is like same age demographic. Some feel like Joanna ended up getting potentially lucky in the automatic YouTube algorithm. So though that can happen, others point out that many channels get recommended often, but this doesn't always happen. And the fact that so many people decided to subscribe when they did find her, and the fact that she's been growing so fast ever since shows that she kind of has a certain factor that's led to her quick rise on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Cause I think this whole industry is, it start, everyone starts off as lucky. You are lucky to meet someone. You are lucky to randomly put out a video, randomly be featured in something. Something can be recommended to me in YouTube. And of course, if it has someone's name like Emma Chamberlain, I might click on it and watch it, but that don't mean I'm gonna subscribe. So what do you think has been the biggest factor for Joanna that's caused users to subscribe to her when they do find her? Her rawness, she's like, real. I feel like if I were to talk to her, I would laugh and like I would enjoy like her presence. She's really like quirky and so she kind of like stands out. Her dedication kind of like so then she's very like like individual. Maybe they just find uh find her comedic presence alluring, you know? And they're just like, "Yo, that's a cool lady right there. I'm going to go check out that channel." People don't live these crazy lives like like the Paul brothers or like the like rice gum like who lives in these mansions and stuff you know they want to watch someone who they can relate to she paints half the time it's so unique to the platform and the fact that you can watch a video like that and be entertained is something so different it's definitely her like natural like outgoing and loving personality which has gained her all the subscribers and made people stick around yeah. you can get like a viral video even that has a ton of views and it still won't lead you to a bunch of subscribers or the fan base that Joanna has. So Joanna's a creator, sometimes talked about as being part of a handful that are currently blowing up that some people feel are somewhat of a throwback to the earlier days of YouTube. Yeah, no, I can see that, like like the old Jenna Marble style. I miss that YouTube, because that's when, that's around the age I was like, you know, growing up and really watching YouTube. And, and it was, you know, reminds, gives me a, Good old hit of nostalgia. So Joanna usually films alone. She still uses very low fi equipment. And despite yeah. the success, where in today's kind of YouTube, often people move to LA or New York to up their production capabilities or collab with others. She doesn't really do that. And she's currently just still staying in Canada where she lives. Whoa, I didn't know she lived in Canada. And she also just graduated high school and she's still going to university. Okay, good for her. Making videos and going to school, it, it's, it's tasking, yes but not impossible. And I think it's amazing that Joanna has made the decision to go to university. There are a lot of teen YouTubers that do follow her path where they like stay in school and stay in their hometown and stuff. But there are a lot now that are moving to LA and making it big. Joanna in the past has said that she doesn't want to follow the usual YouTuber trends in order to find success on the platform. So do you think as she continues to find success and has to keep making content that her production will change and she might fall into the same trends and patterns that other channels do? Mm, I mean like she very well could, but that's kind of like not been her thing from the get go. She might say that now, but you know, maybe like let's say in a couple months, like her channel starts to fall off and the views dip. It comes to a point where it's like, damn, do I stay true to myself and make the content I want? Or do I kind of have to, you know, like keep going? Of course you want to be good at what you do. So it's very easily, if you can change their production value, you might. But also if she's having fun at what she's doing, she might just be like, no, I love this. Why would I change? So hopefully she stays in that mindset if she's determined to. Yeah, I guess it's a process that some people go down that, you know, they start like that. They start all, I guess like simple and bare bones and then as, the, as the time goes on, they think, oh, I need better equipment and better stuff. And that's not always the case. As long as you have good ideas and you portray them correctly, you can do a whole lot. So finally, as a teen yourself in a similar stage in your life as Joanna, what would be your advice to her as she embarks on her career and heads off to college, teenager to teenager? Oh man, I don't know. I'm going off to college too. Hey, John Cena. I'm really glad that you decided to go to college because honestly, I think it's like an important step in your life and a lot of YouTubers don't really choose to take that route. Just stay humble. 
have fun. Whatever you do, if you change, if you don't, people are gonna give you crap for it. So you might as well as have as much fun as you can and just, I don't know, follow the path you originally wanted to or don't, it's up to you. Hey guys, what's up, it's Michaela, and today is actually my final episode of Teens React. You've seen me on Kids, just finished out Teens, and I'm excited to finally move on to adults. I love the staff, the cast, the fans. You guys have given me such a big family and so much love, and you guys have been such a big part of my life. And I'm really excited to move on to adults and start this new chapter. Bye. What's up, my dude, and thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. If you want to check out more of Joanna's CDF videos, make sure to check them out. Links will also be down in the description. Bye, everyone.